my mom's friend saying, don't do it. I'm gonna do it. And the doctor gave us this uh, D-Day and the D-Day was exactly on my dad's birthday. So we went home and we called my parents and said my dad was going to get a very special birthday gift this year. Because Korea and Seoul has the biggest Lindy Hop scene. I have danced that for many years. So come to Seoul, stay here for three weeks, live in Hanok House, dance all night, got friends and explore the city. It was a really amazing trip and I completely fall in love with the country. I promised myself that I have to come back one day. The Lindy Hop is a jazz dance, very uh, energetic, and then it's jazzy and everything is cool about it. You should check it out. What happened in between was I uh, started a new education. For me, going to Norway was already a kind of exchange from Denmark to Norway. So I didn't think about going exchange, but then I hear that it was possible to go South Korea. And then I was like, South Korea? Wait a minute, I want to do that. So I applied and I got in. So I went here for one semester and then I had to go home to Norway do my education finish at that time I had already met my husband so we had this one year of long distance relationship and then I had promised to come back so I come back and then I have stay ever since I have been travel a lot around the world so they didn't say anything when I go a second time after doing the exchange they were definitely expecting me to come back but when they hear I got a boyfriend and that serious that I want to go back then I think they realize this is gonna be a <laughs> Yeah, Syria is a really good word. Not from the beginning. They thought I would have a, a Danish husband for sure or Swedish or something nearby. Never expect foreigner husband, no. I called my parents, kind of say it. And my mom and dad was visiting some friends. And I remember my mom's friend saying, don't do it. And I was like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> It more feel, makes me feel, I'm going to do it, I'm gonna do it. But my parents didn't say anything like no or... My mom was just sad because she feels that she is losing me. But they were not against it. He is uh, nine years older than me, but he doesn't look yes. that old. <laughs> when I was here on uh, exchange, I was uh, study every uh, daytime and spent all my uh, night dancing Lindy Hop. But I didn't really get along with any friends, so I decided to participate. Yeah, so he was uh, the teacher and then we went out to have Dipuri. Then I always sit together with teacher because he was curious. He's not afraid or shy. So we were always sitting there uh, together. But one day he asked me uh, how to say hi, I love you, goodbye, stuff like that in my language. So I teach him goodbye, farewell, I love you is ja elsker dig. A week later I was late for Dipuri. I sat next to him and he opened the menu and then he said ja elsker dig. That is a really strong word in Danish, it's not like I love you in English. I feel like a splashing of uh, love coming over me and suddenly I saw him with completely new eyes. I was like, I didn't say anything, but it was so magical because nobody noticed it. So it was really like a bubble for just him and me. I was like, what did you say? Yeah, then we just, uh, I texted him days later. So we start dating and I think he was thinking we conversation in, in all direction, both uh, funny laughing, but also a little serious and I start to think how would it be if it should be him and me because I was a student in Norway I didn't have a house or a job or anything so I kind of see all the way if this should happen I have to come here because he is uh, older than me we want to get kids fast so after a wedding and after going honeymoon to Denmark we try to get a baby I thought it would take a little longer but uh, I got pregnant in the first try <laughs> so I was happy that was what we want and we actually want to have two children so it was just nice it uh, become so fast so it was just some month after the wedding it happened <laughs> I think they know our plan already. When we figure out I was pregnant, we went to the doctor to check and the doctor gave us this uh, D-Day and the D-Day was exactly on my dad's birthday. So we went home and we called my parents and said my dad was going to get a very special birthday gift this year. <laughs> they are often very happy, but it was extra happiness in the eyes. I think my mom hoped maybe that we come to Denmark and stay and then get babies. So I think the first her mind 
point is like, oh, I cannot have the baby there all the time. But I saw pure happiness in my dad's eyes. Uh, Ella Sachin, and actually Ella came out on my dad's birthday. Because normally the DJ, it uh, like goes, but my dad's birthday, my contraction start. And while he was opening package, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle while they were trying to hit and eat cake. And then uh, he drove me to the hospital with my husband and we got her on his birthday. They still wish that we were closer and I wish that too. But uh, I'm really uh, grateful that there exists video chat because then we can have a little bit uh, better communication. I love to be here. I really love to be in Korea. I also miss my parents and they get older. So if I could stop the time and stop my parents get older, then I could live here forever. But I am so afraid to spend all my time here while they are still alive. <laughs> Everybody say they want to come and visit. I think they think it's very exotic and also brave, but it's really difficult to keep in contact with my friends. And I know there is more they want to come and that's just to know that they want, but there has been Corona and I have been pregnant and yeah, so, but we, we I'm soon going back to Denmark and stay there for five months. So that's gonna be so awesome for family and friends, see people. So, if you like this video for today, subscribe and like. See you again next time. Bye!